I mean, I think I think it started in the house, right? I think my, you know, my mom was always walking around the crib singing, humming, that kind of thing. My dad too, uh, like literally wake up seven in the morning, just start blasting music, like disrespectfully loud, like <laughs> for no reason, right? So I've always just kind of been surrounded by it. Um, when I was younger, I used to go to church a lot, so I'd have to like kind of sing in choirs and stuff. And then I think when I really started to cultivate it um, was high school, um, well, kind of middle school, high school. Uh, I met some friends who kind of just did similar things. Like we liked to dance too. So we would always be dancing. And then like, I realized they sang a little bit. And so we just started kind of like doing everything. Right. And then I started to really cultivate it then. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, building that confidence was kind of like trial, trial and error. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like I said, in high school, I was with a lot of people who are pretty good. So I was always just competing with like the one person who was really good. And I, was, I just felt like if I am as good as them or other people are telling me I'm as good as them, then I must be pretty good, right? <laughs> um, so it kind of got built there and I just started like looking forward that way. Like, well, fuck it, somebody got to do it. Somebody got to try. Like, I, you know, I'll get better. So if it's not the best now, it'll get better later, right? I think, um, I think the first time I heard myself and like, I, I didn't really like the way I sounded, but it was a homie of mine. I went to College Park uh, for, for undergrad, right? A homie of mine was a really good rapper, still is, uh, this guy Munchie. And we were on a track together for this, like, this mixtape that I don't even know if it still exists <laughs> somewhere. But um, there was a track on it we did together, like, kind of switching off bars and that kind of thing. And, like, I, I was just like, oh, I like well, my voice sounds, all this kind of stuff. But uh, apparently that was everybody's favorite track. And so uh, after that, I was like, okay, well, maybe I should just ignore myself and how I feel about myself for a minute and just keep trying to, you know, push forward and get better, you know? So, yeah. I mean, yeah, with, with that, I mean, I think it's cool to have like a home base. Like, you know, if you want to be like an R&B singer and like, you know, just a hardcore rapper, that's cool. But it's also like the world that we grew up in, you know, if you're, if you're under like a certain age, you're under the age of like 35, you grew up in a really mixed up world when you were hearing everything music wise, right? You know, we, we, we grew up getting music from like, you know, LimeWire and like the internet and like, you know what I'm saying? So like, there wasn't really a sense for us to have to fit into one box. And I, I think now that you're seeing people making music that are coming from that generation, like a lot of it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of mixed up and eclectic and it's gonna have lots of different elements, you know? So yeah, I think, I mean, I think that's where it's going, right? It's also like, it's a really collaborative space music, right? So you, you want to be able to work with everybody to like challenge yourself and make different kinds of things, right? Um, so yeah, so I think most people are always trying to like, you know, blur, blur those lines, I think, so yeah.